control has been heralded as one of the most significant breakthroughs in modern medicine. It frees women to have a career and family at the times that they choose. However, one of the biggest worries of many women is that when they stop taking birth control and plan to start having children, the birth control may have affected their fertility. So they worry that they may no longer fall pregnant as easily as they would like to because of whatever birth control method they've used. And maybe that's your worry as well. In this video, we look at how true this is and ways in which we can boost your egg quality and support ovulation when you come off birth control. Now, this is a longish video and it's simply because there is some background information that I need to lay to help you understand, but it will help you and I hope that you will stay around until the very end so that you can get all the benefits of the information in the video. And for those of you that do, there is an extra six supplements I'm going to share with you in addition to the five that you're going to get by the time the video ends. Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Sylvia, a general practitioner and health educator with Askewe Health. Here we share health information that helps us learn about our bodies and feel and be better. So if this is the type of information that you've been searching through YouTube for, stop, you've come to the right place. Please make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And once you've done that, go ahead and follow us on all our different social media networks, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, us at Askewe Health. And friends, my channel membership is now open. So if you like what we do on this channel and want to support us, please come and join as a channel member. That gives you the opportunity to see lots of the different things that we're doing in the back end of the channel. Plus, one of the perks you also get is that you can recommend a topic that you'd like to see on the channel in future. So I'm looking forward to you joining and coming to see everything that we're doing on Ask Away Health. So what is the state of your eggs well before you start taking the pill. Let's look into that scenario. We know that women are born with all the eggs that we will ever have. By the time you are born, you have about 1 million eggs. And from this point onwards, it's a game of numbers. By the time you reach puberty, only about 300,000 of those eggs remain. Now, this is important when we come to the question of egg quality and what effect your birth control pill, implant or whatever might have on it. From puberty onwards, the number of eggs that you have declines as you age and with every menstrual cycle that you pass. Your fertility also declines with age due to the reducing number of the eggs and the quality of those remaining eggs. So here is a snapshot of what happens in your body around the time of ovulation. A follicle containing an egg begins to mature and grow in the ovary. The levels of a hormone known as luteinizing hormone begin to increase, causing the follicle to burst and release a mature egg into the fallopian tube. This is ovulation. And once released from the ovary, the egg begins to travel down the fallopian tube where it might meet up with the sperm and become fertilized. That ovulation is accompanied by a change in the cervical mucus, making it become thin and stretchy, which of course is easier for the sperm to meet the egg. You might also notice an increase in your body temperature, a slight increase around the time of ovulation. Other changes that happen during ovulation include the increase in levels of your hormones, estrogen and progesterone. All that is to help the womb prepare for a baby if that egg is fertilized. Lastly, the follicle that has just released an egg now transforms into something called a corpus luteum, which produces hormones that will also support a pregnancy if the egg has been fertilized. So all this happens every month. And in the event that the egg is not fertilized that month, it is lost along with all the womb tissue that was being prepared for pregnancy as your menstrual blood flow or period. And the cycle goes on and on every month while a woman is reproductive, while she is within her reproductive age. So think about it. By the time a woman gets to age 30, so maybe about 18 years or so after puberty, what she has is about 100,000 to 150,000 eggs left. There is no evidence that taking birth control methods affects the number of eggs a woman has, regardless of which method she's used or how long she's used that method. And remember, birth control works by delaying or preventing ovulation 
temporarily it's not able to stop it entirely so other factors namely your age are responsible for the reducing number of eggs you have left and this will happen whether you are using a birth control method or not now we've talked about egg numbers what about egg quality Contrary to the belief of many women using birth control, your birth control method does not really affect your egg quality either. But here is a list of some things which will affect your egg quality. Number one, age. Yes, your age again. Age is one of the most significant factors that affect the quality of your eggs. As a woman grows older, both the quantity and the quality of her eggs begins to decline. And after age 35, the decline in the egg quality becomes a lot more pronounced, leading to an increased risk of genetic or chromosomal abnormalities or fertility problems. Number two, genetic factors. The genes you inherit can play a role in determining your egg quality. This is because some women may have genetic problems that make them more susceptible to eggs that have chromosomal abnormalities or other reproductive issues. Number three, your lifestyle. Yes, certain lifestyle factors can impact the quality of your eggs. Can you guess what I'm about to say next? You probably can. Smoking, excessive alcohol intake, using strict drugs and being exposed to certain environmental toxins that can affect egg quality, perhaps from your place of work and so on. These can affect the quality of your eggs. Women can experience this differently depending on where they live or where they work. To help address these lifestyle issues, and ensure you have better egg quality. You can include a healthy diet and exercise and manage stress properly in your lifestyle. And number four, hormone imbalances. By this, I mean conditions which can affect the hormone balance in your body. And by this, I'm referring to problems like an irregular menstrual cycle or PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome, both of which could have an effect on your egg quality. These conditions disrupt your hormone balance and can affect how the eggs mature and develop. Related to this are other medical conditions which can also affect the quality of eggs. There are conditions like endometriosis or ovarian cysts. Additionally, you might have some medical treatments like radiotherapy or chemotherapy, which will have some impact on the tissues and can affect egg quality. Now let's talk about the fifth point, which is called ovarian reserve. Ovarian reserve is a term we use to describe both the egg quantity and quality. Some women have low ovarian reserve for different reasons and in such women, their egg quality and number will be affected. And another one that people may not immediately think about but which could affect egg quality is assisted reproductive technologies. It might affect only a small group of women who are going through procedures like IVF. But ovarian stimulation and the egg retrieval process may put so much stress on the body and on the eggs to affect their quality. Now, given all these possible conditions that could affect a woman's egg quality, it's important to remember that everyone's different and not all these conditions will affect women with low egg quality the same way. And so it's important to identify which is responsible in your case if this is applicable. We can also see that birth control is not particularly one of the things that can affect the quality of the eggs. It means that for a woman without any medical conditions affecting her hormone balance or affecting the wombs or the ovaries, the most likely things that could impact egg quality will be things like the age, the genes and lifestyle factors. What this means is that we can do something about some of these factors, but there are some like age or genes and some medical conditions that we cannot do anything about. So I'm going to talk about the essential supplements that will help to boost the quality of your eggs. But before I do that, I want to make a little mention about egg freezing. Egg freezing is something I think everyone should think about from your mid twenties upwards. The reason for this is that women are settling down to start their families or fall pregnant a lot later in life these days. And that can be for several reasons. So you may be able to start your family in your twenties or thirties, but some ladies may have to wait a lot longer before they're able to do so. For those in that last category, thinking about egg freezing or if they had frozen their eggs a few years back when they were in their mid-twenties, for example, means that they would have better or good quality eggs to get pregnant with rather than having to deal with 
poor quality eggs or the chance of infertility in their very late 30s or early 40s when their fertility has dropped. So that's it for egg freezing. But what if you've been using the pill or the coil or the implant and you're now ready to have your baby in your late 30s, maybe even early 40s? You have no pre-existing conditions, you're generally fit with some good healthy habits. What more can you do to boost or support your egg quality around this time? And this also applies to ladies who are younger. So don't get me wrong, I'm not applying this set of supplements just to women in the older age group. If you feel that you have been on the pill or the one of the birth control methods for a period of time and now you're ready to start your family, it's worthwhile thinking about supplements that you can take to just improve your health and put your body in a tip-top shape ready for falling pregnant. What will happen is that you'll be dealing with an egg quality that is consistent with your age regardless of whatever birth control method you've used or how long you've taken it for. Remember that a healthy diet will pretty much provide all the essential nutrients that your body needs for optimal reproductive health. But we do know that there are some supplements that may benefit women who are looking to boost the quality of their eggs. So here are the five essential supplements recommended to support this. The first is coenzyme Q10 or CoQ10. CoQ10 is an antioxidant that helps protect cells, including your eggs, from oxidative stress. It is involved in cell energy and production and can support the egg quality. And studies suggest that taking CoQ supplements may help improve egg quality, especially in older women. Coenzyme Q10 is a natural fat soluble compound that your body makes and stores in your cells. In particular, it is stored in vital organs of the body like the heart, the lungs, and the liver. It's really important to note that your levels of CoQ10 drop as early as your 20s and your body loses the ability to make any more so essentially you're only able to get it from diet or supplements. Food sources for CoQ10 include meats, fatty fish, soybeans, vegetables, nuts and seeds. Supplement 2 is omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids, particularly DHA and EPA, have been associated with improved fertility and egg quality. These fatty acids have anti-inflammatory properties and can support overall reproductive health. You can get your omega-3 fatty acids from fish oil supplements or by consuming fatty fish like mackerel, flax seeds, chia seeds and walnuts in your diet. Next up is my favorite vitamin, vitamin D. Low vitamin D has been linked to fertility issues including poor egg quality. Adequate vitamin D levels are essential to regulate your hormones and for overall reproductive health. We usually recommend vitamin D supplements if you check your blood and your levels are low. The dose that you need to have will depend on your blood level, so please speak to your doctor about checking your vitamin D levels to see whether you need to have these supplements and how much. Next, let's talk about another type of vitamin. This time, it's a type of vitamin B, which is known as myo-inositol. Myo-inositol plays a crucial role in the way your ovaries work and the quality of the eggs that they are producing. It's also involved in helping to regulate hormones, that is hormone balance, insulin levels, and to support the development of your follicles. Some studies suggest that myo-inositol supplementation may enhance the quality of eggs in women with conditions like PCOS. And the fifth essential supplement I want you to consider is the antioxidant blend. This is a combination of different antioxidants, for example, vitamin C, vitamin E, selenium, and zinc, all of which will help to protect the cells from oxidative stress and damage, and that is to boost the quality of your eggs. Remember, oxidative stress can negatively impact egg quality. So an antioxidant blend that combines all of these nutrients will help to support overall reproductive health. Now, if you've stuck around to this point of the video, you are truly a trooper. And I hope the information so far has been of great value. So like I promised, here is one more supplement. This is L-arginine. It is an amino acid that plays a crucial role in the function of your reproductive system. 
It helps to improve blood flow to the different organs and your genitals and supports the production of nitric oxide, which is important for egg quality. And don't forget, they may come in different strengths or different doses. So it's important to follow the product labels and recommendations or consult a healthcare practitioner to advise you on how much to take, when and how frequently. Also very important, please consider that these supplements can interact with other medication that you might be taking at the same time. Please consult a healthcare provider to advise you appropriately. I'm always happy to do this with you via our email health information service. Please drop me a line if you need to. The link for this will be in the description box for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Give it a like and please share it with a friend that you think might find it useful. I think after watching this, you might also be interested in this other video where I talk about the difficulties that women, particularly black women, have with fertility or with conception. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please remember to subscribe and I will see you again soon. Thank you so much for staying all the way to the end. Bye.